All right, it, inside this model year 2021 R4045 sprayer, uh, we do have an updated hydro handle. They did do this in 2018, I believe it was. Um, so just wanna cover some of the controls and uh, what they all do. So starting on the back side of the hydro handle, we have a roll knob here. What that's gonna do is set your field cruise speed. If you look up on your corner post when you're adjusting this, it'll have, we're at 15. So what this will do right now, if I put my hydro handle forward, all the way forward, we'd be, it would set a field cruise at 15 miles an hour. It does work its way up at one mile an hour increments until you get up into transport speed at 25 miles an hour. Then it'll go five miles an hour, five mile an hour increments. That is on the back of the hydro handle. Moving forward on top here, we got your emergency solution shut off if you ever need that. Uh, moving down here, we have your foam markers. Side to side are your foam markers. Up and down on this button is your center, center frame lift. Moving over, we got your left hand boom, raise and lower, and your right hand boom, raise and lower. We got uh, your, your solution pump on off, This your yellow button here. Moving up, we got what's called headland management system, and I will discuss that in a little while when we get into the display. Moving over, we got your boom index. If you don't have solution or section control, you can shut off individual sections, left and right, and if you push this button, it'll turn them all back on. Moving down, we have your auto track engage and your boom track engage. On the back side of your hydro handle, you have some customizable buttons. I like to put your fence row nozzles on, on two of these customizable nozzles, and there's several other options you're able to do um, on these other two, which I will show you in, in the display. Moving down to your command arm, to unlock those customizable buttons on the back, you need to hit the unlock button here, and that will unlock the customizable buttons. Moving down, we have your throttle. So we got idle, max throttle, and then anywhere in between with the up and down arrow. Here we have your road transport button. This will lock out all your hydraulic functions while going down the road. Here is your tread adjust. So you're able to pull your tread in and anywhere from 120 inches to 160 inches. Uh, and I will show you that in the display also. Moving down, you got your raise and lower on your ladder. This will lock out your boom. Uh, this here with light on is your diff lock. Um, with 2020 and newer sprayers, um, with command drive, this light will always be on. There's no way to turn it on and off. But on sprayers newer than that, without command drive, this is what's gonna turn your traction control on. Moving down, we have your park brake. Uh, we also have an additional secondary park brake back here. Uh, pull the lever back, hold it back, and then it will lock your, you into park brake until you release it. Moving over, we have your, up top here, we have what you need to hit to turn your solution pump on. Moving over is your uh, agitator. You push that button, it'll turn your agitator on. Moving down, we have your target rates, one, two, and three. We are able to pre-select three different rates along with a manual pressure uh, setting here. Next, we have your fence row nozzles, left and right. These four buttons are tied into your exact apply system and your different ways you can spray. If you have the top one on, you are engaging your exact apply pulsing. You move over, we have your auto. With auto, it's going to spray conventional uh, and automatically switch between solenoid A and solenoid B. Moving down, we got to run just off of nozzle A and nozzle B. Uh, if you are running A plus B, the, both of these lights will be on. Moving down, we got your video. Uh, if you do have cameras hooked up, you are able to have two video inputs right here. 
And below that is just another three customizable settings that you can select. Moving into the display, we have a navigation bar here on the bottom. I'm just gonna start here with the first button. You push that. It's gonna bring you into your tank setup. This is where you will tell the tank after you fill how much product you have in here. So it will gradually work its way down as you're spraying. You got two presets in here. And then if you do use that target fill, it will automatically put up here how many gallons you sucked into the sprayer. You have some alarms you can set up. If you want it to alarm you at a certain gallon amount, you can enter in when you want your alarm to go off. Down below, we have your agitation. You can turn this on. You can also have an auto off setting on your agitation. So when your tank gets down into that 100, 200 gallon range, uh, it will automatically shut off the agitation if you put a rate or a, a value in here. Down below, we have your agitation level, how you got low, medium, and high settings. Next, we have your spray system on the navigation bar. On this spray system, this is where you will set your three target rates that are down here. If you want a five, 10, 15 gallon, and then your target pressure setting, if you're gonna run that way, is also on here. Moving over, you have a minimum pressure setting, a spray off pressure, and a pressure relief. What this pressure is going, relief is gonna do is in road transport, if you're worried about nozzles dripping going down the road, you can relieve the pressure in your boom if you turn, lift your center frame all the way up and turn this on. Moving over, this is the orifice valve that I was talking about earlier down on the side of the sprayer. You wanna run in standard flow if you're running over 26 gallons per minute and you wanna run in low flow, anything under 26 gallons per minute. You need to make sure to have your screen match what the valve is down on the side of the sprayer. If you have it in standard flow down there, you need to have it in standard flow up here. Next, we have auto prime and boom air purge. What this auto prime does is it allows you to fully charge your solution system with chemical so the sprayer is ready to go as soon as you hit the spray on button on your hydro handle. It'll have chemical right to the nozzle tip. This system works by starting in the center frame and pushing its, all the air out to the ends of the boom. Next, we got what's called boom air purge. This is something you're gonna wanna do when you are done for the weekend, are gonna take a few days off of spraying. Uh, what this does is it clears out the majority of the remaining solution in your boom. It uses a high rate of compressed air to push everything out of the boom, out of the nozzles. That's boom air purge. Next, we have your rinse cycle. Uh, just like I talked about down on the side of the sprayer, you have the option to do boom only, solution system, solution tank only, or the rinse tank transfer where you'll transfer water out of the rinse tank into the solution tank. This is an automated system. Uh, it walks you right through what you need to do um, as far as turning the solution pump on to get rid of the uh, rinse cycle water. Next, if you have a dry box on the back, you would use this button. The other shortcut navigation buttons are your cameras, your phone, your music, your lights, your HVAC system, and your controls. 